Hello. My name is Tuija Turunen. I work as a professor of teacher education at University of Lapland, Finland, and I'm also a Arctic chair in social justice and diversity in education. My piece is related to the event New Northern Pedagogies Conversation Across the Arctic, which will happen in Aberdeen in mid-January. I have titled my presentation One Size Does Not Fit All, Locality in Teacher Education. We all remember the fairy tale Snow White, where the evil uh, stepmother asked from the mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And when I'm talking about teacher education, I don't mean that we as teacher educators are those uh, wicked stepmothers. But what I'm trying to tell you or invite us all to think about is that what we see when we look at the mirror of the teacher education, what we actually see when we look at our course, courses and curriculum in our different uh, teacher education institutions. And sometimes it's good to look a bit closer. These three pictures, they tell us about the global trends, which are highly relevant for teacher education. Of course, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and from our point of view, especially the SDG4 quality education, which uh, builds up the background for all other sustainable development working goals, uh, is, is highly important. And education is one of the key in the sustainable future. We also have the OECD Learning Compass, which tells us how and why and where the education should take the, the global com community. And then we have this third picture with transferable competencies, the competencies that are needed in all different professions and all, all kinds of work. And as I said, these are important and these are highly relevant. But I like to uh, ask that is this everything? Is this the whole picture of teacher education? And when we look at these pictures, we see that the places where teachers actually uh, work in their professions differ from each other a lot. So communities, they come from all uh, sizes and colors. They're big cities, very small communities, very rural communities, small towns, big towns. There are places where the weather conditions are very demanding. And there are places where some livelihoods are very important for, for the local people and, and might be very limited what other things there, there might be if that livelihood is taken away from those people. And this is the locality and richness of localities that our student teachers and future students should have uh, or should understand when they graduate. That all the global trends or the national trends which we have, we need to make it happen in these localities. And teachers are important parts of those local communities. They are important uh, people to make the education uh, suitable for all. And they are important people for families, for children and young people. And they should make the education feel for the community and that the community has the ownership of education. And that they are doing the education together for the better future of that community and, and children and young people living there. So all communities are different and therefore teacher education should be grounded in locality. And that means that student teachers and teachers working uh, should take these global trends and then look at them in their own local context 
and think what that what it actually means in that place in that time. And I'd like to end my uh, short presentation with these couple sentences of position statement on Arctic pedagogy. That position statement was approved by uh, Arctic Council a few years back when Finland was, the chair, was chairing the Arctic Council. And I have bolded some important words to, for us to remember. So communities and cultures, as well as the local knowledge, should constitute the premise of education. Arctic Nordic pedagogy seeks to preserve, preserve and revitalize local languages, which should be acknowledged in the curriculum and included in teaching. Arctic Nordic pedagogy views digitalization as an opportunity for developing innovative solutions for arranging education, and teachers should be encouraged to devise creative ways to include digitalization in their teaching. These are my initial thoughts, and I'm very uh, happy to see you in a couple of weeks and looking forward to our further questions uh, and discussions around this uh, locality in teacher education. See you soon. Bye.